Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and here I have a haul for the first video because I did say that I was going to do demos of these three plates on Saturday, which is today. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. where I'm at because I had a late start, and I was trying to decide if I want to stamp over these two shades or use these two with black. I don't know yet, and since I got three plates, I can probably do both. But I do want to share with you first my Bath and Body Works haul. I got this cute little thing and I'm going to tell you all about it, but I also want to tell you really quickly, they've got some new stuff coming out. Some of it is online and some of it is not. I do know that as far as three wick candles, the two that I'm going to show you I have, one is kind of a little bit different and I'll tell you the story about that when we get to it. But I do want the Campfire Donut and the Mint Latte that I saw on Bath & Body Works Love Affair. I also watch her YouTube channel and that's where I see those candles at. A lot of the stuff that I see first that I go looking for here is either from her channel or someone called Bath & Body Works Daily Find. They are coming out with a milk and honey line. There's an apple one and a cotton blossom, something like that. The packaging's a little different, but the only one I'm truly interested in is the milk and honey. I don't know how close it'll be to the um, cocoa honey shea line, but if you remember a long time ago, they had a lotion in the aromatherapy that was milk and honey and it smelled really good and people were disappointed that it went away. So I hope it's along the lines of that. They are also coming out with um, something in the fragrance rose water, almond milk, is it a kai berry, and then there's also going to be a fragrance free, they are calling the lotion to that a body milk. The spray is going to be a face and body refresher, but I have been wanting them to come out with an unscented lotion for the longest time. They do have the unscented lay it on thick. I love a thick cream. For some people, that's too much, and it's definitely too much in the summer. So in the summertime, I would use the Lay It On Thick Unscented. Um, there was a Lay It On Thick regular that was super thick that had a scent, and then there was the Lay It On Thick Unscented, but it was still thick. For some people that like a light lotion in the summer. So I'm very happy that they're going to come out with an unfragranced lotion, but I don't know if these items will stick around, if they're permanent, or if they'll be just for that time frame because you know how Bath & Body Works does. And that line is called Pure Simplicity. Again, it'll be the Akai Berry, um, the Rose Water, and Almond Milk will be the scents. And I do know there'll be a lotion and a spray. I don't know what else comes out in that. I went today to check out the Argon and Birch line like I said I would, and they have a body scrub, a butter, and an oil. I did not get those three items, but you know I'm going back for them, so I'll share with you what I got today. And I'm going to start with what I actually bought yesterday, because as you know, until the 10th, if you spend $10, you get a free item up to $14. And this particular um, wallflower plug that I'm holding, remember how these used to be $12.50? They're now $14.50. I think that one year when everybody decided to go for the wallflower plugs, that was the year they made the double wine one $14.50 instead of $14. It is back. I also plan to get a couple of those. So what I got yesterday, what did I get yesterday? Okay, I went out there yesterday because you guys know I've been wanting this. I called Thursday. They didn't have it. I called Friday. They had it. I went out there before work. I purchased four of these. I gave one away. Then I was able to get this because, as you know, I have a body cream to both of these. And I wasn't able to get the sweet cinnamon pumpkin one, which at first I didn't want, but I decided to get because I have the cream and the packaging is cute. And one pocket back, whether I like it or not, won't hurt me. And then there was another one I think I wanted that they didn't have the vampire blood, but the vampire blood scent stayed the same from last year. So I can possibly pair the pocket back that I have with that one. Um, and then I got the Sparkling Cranberry Cider Cream. I was going back for another pumpkin cupcake, and then this was one of the newer ones because I try to get at least one of all of them. Certain ones in that line, I believe, are now $2. I know the sea spray is. So when I purchased the pocket bags and the hand cream, this was my free item. I figured I'd go ahead and start off with something that I really, really wanted, and this is the Birch and Argon. I would love this in a candle. I think this smells fresh. It's a little bit different, but I really feel like this could be used by your whole household, the females and males alike. Um, it says, inspired by Mediterranean beauty rituals, this collection of nourishing formulas contains an ancient holistic ingredient, 100% pure argon oil from Morocco. 
and it is fragrance notes of birch, argon, vanilla, and rum. I can get a hint of vanilla in here because I like vanilla, but that's about it. But I do still like this fragrance a lot. So what I went back for today was, of course, I was going to go get the items that I wanted to get. And in order to complete my set, I'm going to share with you what I got. Now they had, again, like I said, if you spend $10, you get, excuse me, my apologies for that. If you spend $14, you get any item. I'm sorry, did I say that? Yeah, I said that, but backwards. If you spend $10, you get any item you want up to $14. So this is going to be the second purchase that I made because my first purchase is the one where I got the two candles. I went in there to make that purchase. And then I went to pay on a layaway and get something to eat. And then I came back to the other side of the store. Now, the first run, I did two transactions. And this second run, I think I did two as well. So, when I went back over on the body care side, I think I spent like $33 and some change. But there should be another receipt in here. Because the second part of that purchase was $18.73. So, the first thing that I picked up were these right here. I didn't do the buy three, get two. I did the buy two, get one, if I didn't say that. I went ahead and I got, because I didn't see this until this morning online, it is the moisturizing body wash. Because when I was first in there, all they had was the spray and the cream and the butter and then the scrub the oil and this wash showed up so i went ahead and got the wash and the spray and then my free item for that was this and as you know i have the hand creams in both of these and i'm going to get some more hand creams in this these also come in that vial perfume spray the little um, glass vial so this one right here i was going to get a spray for it too which i would have purchased three get two free but i changed my mind this one I don't hate, and it smells a little bit different from the regular amber, but the one that's chestnut, I discovered I didn't really like chestnut like I thought I did, but it smelled more along the lines of my brown sugar fig. So the only thing I have in the chestnut and I think birch is the hand cream. This I was going to get the spray, and I figured I've got so much stuff, and I'm trying to line up stuff today to use up as far as my creams with my unscented body wash that I figured... I just get these items because I still want stuff even though I should be using up stuff. So this was my buy two get one free. And then because I spent $10 you also got something else free so I chose this. So what I did first was I went in the store and I picked out the items that I wanted for free and then I purchased what I was going to purchase. And this is a lavender sugar fizzy in the shape of a cupcake. This also comes in a ball. They have some Halloween ones. When I saw these, the thing was chock full. And when I went back today, there was only one more left when I pulled this one out. Because these are, I don't know if these cost more. I'm thinking, okay, on the side here, this says $9.50. The other ones are $6.95. I honestly think all of these are overpriced. These things should be like $5 a piece. But that's what I got as far as the first purchase of my spend 10 get a free item up to $14. The second part of my purchase where I spent the $18, what I had left over was actually this item right here which is $3.50 and then the hand cream is $4 That's 7 If I would have added three more dollars I could have got something else but instead she grouped it with what I'm about to show you and I didn't want anything else after I had wrote the number of checks that I wrote. But I went ahead and I got five more pocket bags. This one I hauled before with the crisp air. And then I ended up taking it back when I did that exchange. And then I went ahead and got this back today. But the crisp air, I loved it for a couple of years. And then I just grew tired of it. It's very fragrant and it does smell like cool air. I just had had enough of it. So I did not get that one back. But this one I actually had hauled on here and then exchanged. And then I have it back. So what I did was, because you know that I just got five of these, I gave one away, so that meant I had to buy two. My friend liked the hand cream, so I got this and this hand cream in case she wanted a set. 
because she doesn't have this at all. And she didn't try my hand cream to know if she'd like it. I got this right here and another hand cream in the pumpkin cupcake. And then my free item was this. Now, they didn't have any more of the unicorn water, but this was another item that I bought one of. And when I went back, they didn't have any more. And it came just like this. I saw it laying there. I picked it up to make sure that it wasn't torn or anything like that. It wasn't torn anywhere. And I knew that this was $5.50 because I had bought one before and they do a dummy skew on items like this. But this was my free item. If I would have added something else with this band and this cream, I could have got something else. But I had had enough hand soaps and I really don't need anything. So a lot of times I'll take my free items and I used to give them away. But I also got this. This was an item that I didn't think I wanted at first. It comes in a lotion band and it comes like this. And I saw this online for the pocket bag. And I thought that it would be a cute item. So I went ahead and just picked up one. Because this is something I could put on my purse. Some of my cutesy ones I don't like this. Even though I have these things, I don't really carry some of them. And some of them I do. I just like having them. And then that way if someone likes one and I give one away, I've still got one. But I've only got one of these. So I may go back and get another one of these. And then that was it. Basically just the two hand creams. A pocket back to go with each one. And then the other pocket bags, and then this is my free item, and that was the end of that purchase. Now this bag right here holds all of my excitement and a little story. As you know, I went in there and I said that I was smelling something in the store that I thought was the vanilla and the patchouli. I also said I don't really like patchouli a whole lot, and I don't. I was afraid to go ahead and get any items in that as far as my free item because there was something underlying in there that just didn't sit well with me. It kind of had a liniment smell. Not that itself, but I just felt like, what if I get it and then I don't like it? And even though I know I can take things back to Bath & Body Works, very rarely do I do that. Even the sales associate said that. The stuff that I did take back in exchange was because things came out during a time when I should not have been in the store to begin with. And I had so many of those pocket bag holders. For every one that I returned, I had like four, three to four of each one of them. And those were extras that I hadn't given away. Now, the first part of my purchase where I got, I think, the wallflower and a soap for free was $15.52. The second part where I believe I got my candles. Did I get candles? Well, maybe there was a third part because something was 30 some odd dollars. So I do remember I paid for each one of these separately as far as the wallflowers. And then somewhere in there I did something else. So I got one of these for $14.50. This one was free. This one's going to my son because I wanted to take the plain one that I had for him to work and plug it up. I don't know. I don't see it right now, but I wanted to get him this one and it's a nightlight. So this one I bought. This one was free because this one was $12.50 and of course this one's $14.50. Let me see. Where am I putting this stuff at? So that was one purchase and these were the things I did when I first walked in the store. So the next thing I did was I believe I bought another one of these because one is for me and then I bought this. This is going somewhere else because I already have this. I don't have this bottle per se but I do have the same scent from last year. This year however everything is made with pure honey so it says. And this says honey's all the buzz. It's our favorite fall ingredient known for its soothing qualities. We love honey in everything from our tea to what we put on our skin. Now, as you know, I did get, I believe it was the mini creams in each of these just so I could see if they differ because I have had the full sizes twice and I gave the first set away, the second set I kept. Now... I got two candles and this was my free item because I want to see if I like this soap. I've heard a lot of people say that people who don't like this in candle or body care like it in the soap so we'll see. And one soap won't hurt me and if I don't like it, I can take it to 
my job on the other side of the building and it will be gone within a matter of days because everybody will use it now I didn't get all the candles that I wanted I do still want to try the vanilla and patchouli candle and I know my daughter will like the focus because she likes stress relief you already know my story with candles even when I buy two or six I really want 24 there are some new ones coming out like I said I really want the campfire donut and I really want the mint latte that I've seen on Kelswin's channel I do still have my chocolate mint one from last season so I got hello sugar because I think this just smells so good and it was actually called apple pie um, in the years past release and I don't know if it says the same thing but here it says baked granny smith apple melted brown sugar flaky homemade crust so that might be the same thing that it has said years before now this one and I do have this candle already in blue this is flannel when I was standing in the front of the store each time that I asked the ladies were telling me this was flannel and I said, no, it's not. It's got to be that vanilla patchouli or I thought it was the lavender cedarwood. Now, here's the funny part. Who am I to tell them in that store what I think they're burning when they actually know? Okay, if they're burning flannel, they know they're burning flannel. It's just that everyone knows flannel has a cologne scent. And I'm like, no, that can't be it. So I said, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to buy this candle. And it didn't smell the same smelling it as it did in the spot where I was at. But more than one employee told me that's what it was and they would know. So I said, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to buy this flannel. And I did hear on here, Kelswin said it and a couple of other people said it. They think that this scent has been tweaked. It just smelled so homey and so inviting and so warm that I had to get this and I won't burn it yet. But it says crisp autumn air, bergamot, heirloom mahogany and soft musk. And see, now that I got it home, I still get a cologne scent. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go back. And it doesn't matter if it's now or later. But I do intend to pick up the vanilla patchouli in the candle. Maybe the lotion. I feel like if I use it lightly, I won't have a problem. But I really, truly hate patchouli and a lot of things. It seems to be the dominant fragrance for me. And too much of it is a bad thing. It's like when the amber lotion came out, Sensual Amber. People who bathed in that stuff and used a heavy amount, it turned other people off. But if they used a light amount to where someone had to be just so close to you, it was a really nice, lovely fragrance if you used it in minimal amount. So we're going to find out. But I do like these lids. I, sometimes I pay attention to lids. Sometimes I don't. Some of the ones that she showed seem to have stars and sweaters on them. But these are the only two candles I got. And each one of these are repeats for me. And I'm also going to be saving money for the candle sale. And since this is the one that it looked like they had up there, this is the one that I got. But I'm still thinking this isn't it, so I won't actually know till I light it. But everyone, I believe that is all that I purchased. I think I need to stay out of there for a little while. But I do intend to get some wallflowers. It's just my friends favor the fresh kind and I really wanted to get something that looked like this like something that was cinnamony or pumpkiny but I don't want to put something with this that they don't like so I plan on asking first but one of these is a gift because I have enough stuff I could go through my whole stash and give stuff away I've done that before and it looked like I didn't touch anything but that's all that I have again I'm going to recharge my phone and come back and we're going to do some of these nail tutorials after this video uploads and I'm planning on doing all three of these plates tonight. Um, one or what am I trying to say? One plate for both. Like I won't do one plate here and one plate here. I'll do as many swatches as I can from each plate and change my polish. So until then, everyone have a great evening.